Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy podcast, episode number 31. Yes. <laughs> um, welcome back to all my subscribers, and welcome to my new subscribers as well. I'm so glad you decided to come by and see what I'm doing today on my projects. I have just a couple finished objects today, but I do have some work, several works in progress that I've started. So, for my finished objects, I have an ornament that um, I followed a tutorial on YouTube for uh, Nadia from Yarn Utopia. And she had 12 Days of Christmas where she had some ornaments that she did tutorials for, for the Christmas ornaments. And so I have done, um, well, a couple of them. And, and this is the, the latest one I did was the sheep. And I used some yarn that was a chenille type yarn. And uh, I just stuffed it with, uh, it's, it's done in two layers and then you sew the layers together and you stuff it. And I stuffed it with just yarn scraps. But I just thought it was really cute. Had to have a sheep on my tree. <laughs> so that's the first finished object. And the next finished object is the 365 Days of Granny Squares, uh, a project that I've been following uh, you tutorials on YouTube from Yarn Utopia. And I am on number 69, and so I did 69, <laughs> which is this one. And I did number 70. This one was fun to do. And then I did number 71. And number 72 is supposed to be a take on the log cabin pattern. And then I also did number 73. So that's five squares added with the two I did last week that I have added to my blanket. And that will complete my next row. And I'll show you that in my works in progress. Okay, so the only other finished object... You see, most of the finished objects I, that I worked on uh, was things that were leading up to Christmas and so a lot of stuff had been done and given so I uh, didn't have that much finished objects after that but I did do a bag I had some fox material but I only had um, I really prefer my bags to be rectangular horizontal <laughs> but this one the way the fox pattern was and I only had one fat quarter so I had to do the bag um, taller rather than wider to be able to get uh, the print on both sides and but then the inside I lined with a really pretty plaid fabric that I've had for a long time that I picked up as a remnant uh, which was equivalent to a fat quarter so that's what I put on the, in the lining so that's all my finished objects I have but I have started um, and been continuing on and then started some new works in progress. So um, going along with the 365 squares project that I'm doing, uh, last week I showed you that I had two done and so I added those two to my blanket. Let me get it right side up here. <laughs> okay, so there's the two there at the bottom, which I'm see I'm starting the fourth row. Okay, so I've got the th first three complete. And so there's the two starting the fourth row. Oh, wait. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I thought I had it backwards. No, nope, that's right. <laughs> and then, um, so the, the five that I showed you that I finished will be going along the bottom row. And that will um, complete the row four. And so I should have... Uh, I believe I'm going to go to row six, so I have two more rows um, of squares to do. Okay, so there's that works in progress. And other works in progress, I believe I showed you just the beginning of it last week. And this is, I have, I had two cakes of the Premier Sweet Roll in the Birthday Cake Pop. And so I started a virus blanket following a YouTube tutorial from Jana Martinez, and that's their channel name. And um, 
so I've gotten more work done on that. I think last time I had the purple center here and then just a little bit of the cream color. So I've gotten that far. And as you can see on the cake, I've just got a little bit more to go. As you can see, I've got two colors in there to go. And then I do have one more complete cake that I'm going to continue on, and then we'll see how, how large it gets. I'm hoping that it with those two, because that's the only two I bought, that that will be uh, large enough for it to be a uh, baby blanket size. So we'll see. Um, if, if not, I can always go pick up another roll uh, cake of it, but we'll see. Um, how it turns out <laughs> okay so that I did that let's see number three works in progress is the uh, which this is the pattern that I was telling I've shown you before that is the German uh, written in German and but it translate the the name of it translates to this and that shawl so I've just been calling it my this and that shawl to make it easier for me <laughs> anyway I, I was able I started this before Christmas I had to set it aside because of the Christmas projects that I was working on to get done for a present so I was able to pick this back up and so I'm now into uh, down here past the little butterfly well I'm about finished up with the butterfly stitch if you can see that and um, the way the color transitioning goes, I don't know if you can tell, but it, the color transition is just starting right here. And the way the transition goes is this is a three, it is a fingering weight yarn. It's a cotton acrylic blend. It is um, also from Germany and it is called uh, Cotton Flowers, which I, I ordered it off of Etsy right there. And um, what it is, it's three ply. And so the, it's three st like strings, <laughs> strands. And uh, so it started out this blue color, um, the blue color here. And it was three strands, all the same color. So now I've gotten to where it is changed and it's two strands of the blue yes and a one strand of white or cream or off-white I guess and so that's how the change the color of it has changed just slightly so anyway it's it's really interesting how the color I'm anxious to see how the color is going to be changing through the through the um, cake and this is a pattern that is on Ravelry, but uh, I believe one of my subscribers that, that have been following me, they looked to see if they could get the pattern. And the pattern was, they the, the people that wrote the pattern, uh, Ruana, I think, uh, I can't remember her, her name. I, I'll put a link uh, in the description box uh, below. But uh, I believe she said that the pattern was not available anymore. So I guess I must have downloaded it before while it was still there but I'm not sure if it will be coming back or or what they're doing with that so but anyway um, that's let's see works in progress number three and then um, if you've been watching my um, episodes a few episodes back one of the ones I did for a Christmas gift um, I did a shawl and it was out of the mandala um, the Lion Brand Mandala in uh, the Spirit colorway, and I had some left over that I caked up, and so I saw this project that somebody did, and and this is just what I have left over of my last cake, and so um, I was just playing around with it. I thought it was kind of a cool pattern. I wanted to see how it would work up. I want to show you a pat the pattern that I'm talking about and uh, somebody used the same colorway which was the spirit colorway and they did this cushion or pillow cover and it is uh, the the name of the pattern is called the never ending wildflower I think square and so um, this is what the girl did with that I just thought the transition was really it was so pretty the colors and uh, and then when it got out to the edge where the gray started then they turned it into a square and then they made a cushion cover out of it and so I started working on just what I had left over and so this so far so far this is what I've gotten 
So my leftover, it started, my leftover cake here started with this turquoise color instead of the dark like the, it did in the picture. Um, but now this outer edge, if you can see that, it's turning into the kind of a blue gray or blue silver, or silver blue, I guess. And uh, uh, I do have this much left which there's blue on the inside, the blue gray on the inside, and then this silver on the outside. So I think I'm just going to work this up until it, um, I don't know, I get a pretty good amount and, and try to, um, I believe there's a, a link that you can go to from the website where this um, pattern is, oh, and the website is called littlemonkeyscrochet.com, and uh, she has instructions how you can turn this uh, into a square and so my kind of my idea was that I'm going to use this turn it into a get it to where it's turned into a square um, probably once it gets into the silver part of this uh, leftover cake that I have anyway turning it into a square see how big it is and then I don't know if I'll do a cushion cover out of it or I might um, turn it into a blanket I know there is a pattern out there out there <laughs> um, it's on Ravelry and it's it's called um, around the bases yeah around the bases blanket and you start with whatever square um, you know the center square it's a square blanket and <laughs> in the center square is whatever square that you want to start with and so I thought that might be interesting to start with that and then I think you just have to end up with a multiple of so big of a square you know so many stitches per side and then you continue on um, it's kind of like a sampler type uh, blanket I think Anyway, I might do that and see how that was. And maybe even get some more of the spirit colorway and um, continue on. That way the colors will all, you know, be the same. Or, you know, yeah, be the same. <laughs> anyway, um, that's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm just kind of playing around with it and, and seeing. Because I had this cake left over and I wanted to see what I could do with it. So that's what I'm doing with that, I think. <laughs> and really that's all my works in progresses. Um... Yeah, that's really all I have to show for this week. Um, still kind of in the holiday mode, I guess. Um, I had a nice holiday, and or having a nice holiday. Um, I hosted Christmas Eve and uh, Christmas Day here at my house, and this is the first time I ever hosted before, and it turned out really nice. And um, we have one more get together to go because on uh, this weekend I am also hosting um, the. Christmas holidays celebration with my husband's family. Um, Christmas Eve had more of my side of the family here. And um, so this this weekend we're having uh, my husband's side of the family in the get together. And so um, so we're kind of preparing, getting, getting ready and preparing for that as well. And so um, there's a few upcoming things I want to do. I'm, I'm exciting, excited for the new year. Um, I want to do a goals um, video, upcoming goals. I've been working on that. I've been working on the tag video that uh, totally.net, Lee, hi, <laughs> um, she tagged me uh, in, in all the questions and the tag is related to um, crafty goals for the next year. And so I'm going to incorporate that, incorporate that and uh, make a video, uh, a separate crafty goals video and I I will probably try to film that on uh, Monday. We're, we'll still be off from school. And so I'll try to work on that and, and get that on here. So maybe um, maybe some of my crafty goals might inspire other people to set goals for themselves or, or uh, maybe think of goals that they want to get done for the next year. Uh, so I have that video upcoming. And I also... Um, want to do a blanket roundup video I've talked about in the last couple of episodes. I still haven't done it yet, but I want to get that done um, of the blankets that I will be gathering together to um, donate to uh, Project Linus. And so I'll, I'll have that video upcoming besides uh, my next video for uh, the Yarn Joy podcast for next week. So um, I'm hoping everybody is having a great 
um, downtime, I guess, and restful time from work or school or um, whatever, holiday. <laughs> and so um, thanks for watching and checking out my progress on the things that I've done this week and um, hope to have more finished objects to show you next week. But in the meantime, I will try to get the Crafty Goals um, video up and so um, maybe we can set some goals together for this upcoming year. So everybody have a great weekend and a very happy, bright and shiny new year upcoming and uh, everybody stay safe this uh, holiday weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye.